All right, this is Brant's blog, and on my quest to better understand the female gender, I have decided to reach out to one of my good friends, Kaylee Cohen, okay? This girl is arguably one of my biggest social media supporters. Uh, she'll like something before I post it, comment on something instantly. She wants to see the brand grow, okay? And I want to learn how to talk to girls. So we thought that we'd team up and do a little Brant's blog. She actually quit her job last week and texted me, Brant, let's get fucking famous. I said, well, let's do a Brant's blog. So that's what we're here to do. Brant's blog, Kaylee Cohen, should be a good one. Have a fucking Tuesday. It's Tuesday. Have a happy Tuesday. Shit, no, I I'm nervous. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right, Kaylee, let's get right into it. I'm going to get to the questions that I wanted to ask you, questions that I need to know, okay? Question one, if a girl says, message me on Insta in her dating profile, what does that mean? Is she just looking for some clout? She just wants to follow, what is it? For sure, clout. She is just playing some games, just wants some followers. But like, there's nothing more from that. I like honestly I, like, don't think so. Like, if a girl has that in her profile, you have zero chance, right? I don't know about zero, but, like, maybe, like, 5%. Like, it's not a good chance, I don't think. Do you, do you have that in your profile? No. Okay, that's good. Next question. When a guy tells you to add him on Snapchat but doesn't give you his number, what kind of signal does that send? Do you He's think it's, serious. like, a player... Yeah. Like not serious. Or like they're just insecure or like nervous to do the <laughs> whole. Why would they be the... insecure? I don't know. Because you know, I like, do what that if this to girls. Fear, I, just, fear I don't give girls my number. I know. You added me on Snap the first time. <laughs> and then and then I trusted you mm -hmm. and gave you my number. Yeah. But that's like the initial kind of response. You like just think the dude's a player. So yeah. that's what I'm sending out. But I just don't trust. I don't like people having my number. I get that. I do. But it's like, if you're, are you referring to like dating apps or like reaching out to people and being like, yo, add me on Snap? Like if you're and that like, interested. I, well, I mean, I guess it kind of entails dating apps and social media. Like if you're that interested, why wouldn't you just be like, here's my number. Text me. Because what if I just want to hook up? Okay. Well, then you do that and you block them. And okay, but it. here's my theory. On Hinge, mm -hmm. I ask a girl for her number. Mm -hmm. We're texting. I have no idea what this girl like actually looks like. like you know how girls yeah. edit things. Yeah. If I get on Snapchat, I immediately know if I'm into it or if I'm not. Really? And that's wow. the Just because of what she sends? Well, yeah, I can actually see their face. And you're like, whoa. And I'm like, either Never mind. whoa, like she's going to <laughs> so like, whoa, she's fucking like, delete. Yeah. So I don't know. That's I, like, I get it. Yeah. It makes sense, but I don't know. But I look like a player. Yeah. Okay. But like, you can get through that. Like, it's just surface level at that moment, anyways. Like, that's fair. It's not that's that deep. Yeah. We're not, I mean, we're not trying to get married or anything. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Next question. What is the weirdest dating experience you've ever had? I um, feel like you're kind of smooth. You probably haven't had many. Um, I don't know. Like, I don't know if this is weird or just like kind of rude. But, By your um, part or their part? Their part, I guess. I mean, both parts. I mean, uh, okay. So there was this boy and he had just broken up with his girlfriend like a couple months oh. before. And, you and just, you I just knew slide right in there. I, I didn't, it, I didn't it. mean to, it just happened. But okay. he lived next door to me at school and he had Dan and Shay tickets. And I knew they were meant for him and his girlfriend, but then they were broken up. So he invited me. And Oof. so I go to this concert with him. It was so much fun. Like one of the best concerts I've been to. But this dude was just Did like you make him at the concert. Probably, I was drunk. Oh, like, that for drunk makeout sesh. Okay, yeah. continue. But like, he was just like flaunting his money at me. Like, he wore an Apple Watch on one wrist and then a Rolex on the other, 
and he was like you can try my rolex on if you want and i was no. like okay <laughs> but like is that is that like years? a turn off if a guy like flexes money like that yeah because i feel like, like it's I not for a lot of i don't know like if you're i always say like i want to marry a rich man yeah but like who doesn't I don't actually mean it like at the end of the day, like that's actually a good deal breaker, you know? Yeah. Well, so, like, maybe you just had one, in your one watch. Maybe you know. just had one but watch for gets, the time and one yeah, watch for, and the, one for the exercise. Like, for, the, watch, for the low. One yeah. watch for the time, one yeah. watch for the low. Like, you yeah. know, the song. Yeah. Um, but it, the story doesn't end there. Oh, shit. So, okay. We'll continue. Sorry. So we go to this concert, we have a great time. We go home, we separate, like, go our separate ways. And then for, like, a week, he was like, I'm going to marry you. Like, I told my family about you. Like, I'm in love with you. I'm going to marry you. And I was like, whoa. But I was just kind of like, must have been doing more than making out at the concert. (laughs) No, literally, no. (laughs) Breaking little on stage hands. And then, yeah, you'd think. And then, literally, like, two days after he said he was going to marry me, I see on Facebook, so and so is in a relationship with this girl. That really <laughs> happened. Like, okay, last okay last week, uh, I'm snapping this girl. She's cute, kind of weird though, but kind of hot. So like, I'm still snapping her. And you're talking about me. Well, you're not weird. You're just cute. Aww. Um, I know it's pretty smooth, right? Uh, <laughs> no, but then like. <laughs> She just totally doesn't respond to anything for one day that I send. And I'm like, okay, well, that's weird because we've had a conversation the last four days. And then the next day I see on her Instagram, a picture of her and her boyfriend. And it's like, I'm, it was on Thanksgiving. I'm so thankful for you, for you baby. Oh like, I, I can't live without you. I'm like, bitch, you were, were just like, what happened? me the day before. Yeah. What happened in those 24 hours that? I don't know. She must've rekindled the flame <laughs> with old Bay. I, I don't so. know. But that's, you know. can't trust these hoes. You can't, no, I don't trust really girls. Can't. I have real life trust issues. Me too. I don't trust men. Men are all cheaters and they're all liars. I don't, I'm not a cheater. I'm not a cheater. Don't, don't fucking that's call me. Sound, out. Okay. Convincing. Last question for you. Would you ever make an OnlyFans or consider being in the porn industry? <laughs> Wait, before I answer this. I was literally thinking in the car today that I was going to ask you a question that was about this. Well, then fucking so that ask is me. crazy. Do you want me to ask you first or you want me to answer first? Well, you can ask me first. I've asked okay. you like five questions. I was going to ask you, would it be a deal breaker if a girl you were talking to made an OnlyFans? Not necessarily like full-blown porn girl, but like made an OnlyFans. No, girl's just trying to get her money. She's trying to get her money. But I would ask to join. (laughs) Yeah, how? How? I can throw my speed on. Or you would go in. Oh, you'd be in the the pictures is what you're saying. I'll never subscribe to an OnlyFans. Like, but I'll say, hey, can I throw my speed on and let's get at this? (laughs) Like, I'm I'm low-key considering making an OnlyFans. Your boy needs some money right now. Yeah, maybe that's our next collaboration. There there has to be some weird people who would just, like, watch me, like, clean my house or something in a Speedo. I don't know. There's some weird-ass people out there. And the more I think about it, the more, like, (laughs) I, like, wouldn't be opposed to doing a porno solely because they can just like blank your faces out and people are still going to watch. Like we yeah. do a porno together. They're going to blank your face out, blank my face out. Millions they got to keep people... your mustache though. Well, we'll just draw a stash over. Okay. The, you <laughs> over know what I'm blank. talking about? The blurry yeah. thing. Yeah. We'll just draw a stash there. All right. That, that could be like my, my niche. That could be mm-hmm. our, my, uh, my calling card the yeah. blurry stash guy mm-hmm. i think that'd be good Sounds okay like but good would rule. you would you ever make an only fans i know you're unemployed right now <laughs> I times are sounding tough. better and better every day um <laughs> it's called I, fun employment. yeah i feel like at the moment i would not but i'm not like more power to you if you do it because that takes a lot of guts and 
you are just like ready to get judged by everybody who finds out so like that is a bold move and i but love not it if you blur your face i know you could just you could do like a fake name and like neck down i mean situation. you think people are gonna recognize you from your ass and boobs Huh. Well, I mean, you must <laughs> want it enough that people are going to recognize you, shit. No, I would just, like, I would wait till, like, I had absolutely no money, and then I would for sure do it. Because why not? I mean, you're getting paid to get dick down. Or I'd be getting paid to fuck a girl who obviously yeah. is good at fucking. Mm -hmm. It's a win-win in my book. Kaylee, yeah. I appreciate your time. That's Brant's blog. First guest, Kaylee Cohen. Thanks for Let's having go. me. Let's go. Um, okay. We should do a part two.